Now, here's one thing I've always wondered. What the fuck do these buttons all do? So, my room used to have a jacuzzi in the middle of it. Hmm. So, it was like this, uh, this baller room. There was a wet bar at, right outside of the bedroom. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Sorry, go back. Your, your, your bedroom used to have a jacuzzi in it. Yeah, and there was a huge, uh, shower in it. Uh, it was like a party room. Oh, okay. And there, there, there was a wet bar. <laughs> Why were your parents swingers or something? The people that still, that built the place back in the day, I guess they liked having parties and, uh, there was a shower, there was like a toilet, there was a big jacuzzi, there was a wet bar outside so they could get themselves a drink. But all those buttons, they were for, uh, there's like five different light systems in the room and all of those are controlled there. Then there's like buttons on top there for a fan, there's like a, a personal heating thermostat and then the other one's kind of covered up. It was... It was supposed to be a house of the future, and they, they basically paid for every single little thing the contractor pitched them. That's really interesting. How often do you you go back to your old videos and, and look over them? You know, sometimes they just show up in the recommended bar for me, one of my old ones, and I'll kind of just watch it to hear how high my voice used to be. If you watch through the videos, you could actually hear me go through puberty. It's like it slowly <laughs> deepens one video to the next at a certain point. Okay, so... Oh, this is neat. This is like the Gamer from Mars News Network. In this game, you must go underwater, collect treasure. Oh my god, this is... this is... <laughs> it's so sweet. This is the... Now, to be clear, this is the first time me making this video right here. Mm. It was the first time I ever touched a video editing software of any kind. So I just saw, like, the angry video game nerd making these videos, and I decided... I was going to make them, but my catch was I was going to keep mine family friendly because the other people at the time, they just threw out the F word every five seconds as like a form of comedy almost. Yeah, right. So like, I was like, I'm going to make it for the children and I'm going to keep it clean and that's going to be my gimmick and my into a niche in YouTube. And then I suppose at that time as well, if your parents see your videos, then you're not going to get in trouble. Oh, yeah, they didn't even want me to making videos like they were like I remember they didn't want me doing it at all Really when I got a camera a couple like a year after I started mm. They did not want me showing my face on the internet like they were really against that Yeah, they knew. I would just get trolled and harassed and people would tell me to kill myself and they turned out to be right but <laughs> it didn't stop me. Yeah. Let's have a look at this <laughs> Yeah, Sony, is that the best you could come up with? <laughs> Jeez. Tongue of the Batman? I think this is the name of Michael Moore's next movie. James Pond 2, Robocop. Oh, so that's a mix between James Bond and Robocop. Ah, that's really clever. Number five. No one could stop Mr. Donald. <laughs> you were really a, a sucky little shit back in the day. <laughs> it really was. <laughs> <laughs> Real good one, Sony. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> so you could actually see when I started using like actual thumbnails. So so actually top 10 things to do with your old Pokemon cards. That's like the first time I got aspect ratios down to have widescreen and uh, have music in the background, everything. The top 10 things to do with your Pokemon cards. That I would consider the first video where I think I got my act <laughs> together. Wait, what's happening? What are those? What are those sounds? <laughs> I made the sound Where effect because I thought. Number ten. I thought it sounded cool at the make time. A deck of cards. Yes, yes. This may not make sense to you. You may say, hey. number five, burn them. Nothing's more fun than burning things down. You could burn one at a time or make a whole campfire out of them until they burn to ash. Yeah, it's all right. Number three, bribe children. So for this one, all you have to do is tell a kid to do something stupid, and in return, you'll give them a holographic Mewtwo. <laughs> this is perfectly acceptable. <laughs> hold on. <laughs> hold on. I'm going to use this clip for everything from now on. This, this, <laughs> this one of you peeking from behind the bushes. This is <laughs> Number one. Give them to me. Did you really expect me to put anything different at number one? Is that your real address? Is that your real address? No, it's Michigan. not real street, fakely. Oh, Michigan. I didn't realize. Some dude actually sent me Pokemon cards and he was he was really ticked off. So like I was like, I'm going to make it for the children and I'm going to keep it clean. Ticked off.
family friendly, ticked off. I'm going to make it for the children. He was really ticked off because like, he's like, yo, did you get my Pokemon cards? And I'm like, no, what are you talking about? And he's like, I sent them to you. And I'm like, dude, that's not a, it says not real street. And uh, I even spelled street wrong to like give it a little bit more of an effect. And he was like, he was so ticked off. I'm like, did you have a return address? And he's like, no, I didn't put one on. So he just lost his Pokemon card collection that he actually sent to me. And then Lavender Town Theory below it is really where my channel took off. It's at 2 million views now. Pokemon has been around for over this is like the still the structure of a lot of my videos to this very day. Internet mm. Industries. Well, let's listen in to um, Quentin Review's uh, impression of the game from... Better watch out, he'll copyright strike it down on me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> In the past 10 years of YouTube history, there have been plenty of people who have succeeded as well as some people who have failed. While many YouTubers get very personal and talk about every single aspect of their life, that can't be said for all. It's, he's got the... The cadence. Yeah, the cadence is spot on. I don't think he's quite got the body language right. The thing with the, uh, the Quentin review video, the biggest point of it is that I always go off subject and I bring up random things that have nothing to do with anything else. Yeah. It fades out and it fades in and it's something completely different. Talking about Adolf Hitler, talking about uh, parenting techniques of the mid 1900s, <laughs> random stuff like that. And then I try yeah. in my best to work that point uh, into the person I'm talking about at the internet age. I, was, I went too over the top and I think I talked about Hitler and like, three of those videos <laughs> had nothing to do with World War II or anything. Do you know which video that is? Oh, gee, oh geez. Um, maybe is Pepe racist? You could try that one. Yeah. Before we get into good old Pepe and the controversy surrounding him, I feel it's necessary to talk a little bit about the history of anti-Semitism. For today's purposes, though, let's just focus on the most infamous example, Nazi Germany. <laughs> <laughs> He's got the fade out. Yeah, the fade out. Yep. This video Hold on, we can't let that lie. He called you a fat mom. Well, he called me handsome before sarcastically. What the fuck? What a dick. What does this guy look like? Oh, he doesn't show his face. Yeah, well. He's 15, that's all. So one thing that scares the hell out of me is these channels that are dying. That I talk about and what happened. Yeah, like I look at things like Tobuscus especially, and I think, Jesus Christ, a guy who had 6 million subscribers and then like his latest video struggled to get, you know, to, to, to break 100,000. Does that prey on you a bit as oh well? Oh my like, God. Like that actually keeps me up at night. It keeps me up. It's it's so stressful. And I there's been times in my YouTube career where, where I thought I hit a wall and I was that was going to happen to me, but. What, what do you think is the main thing that causes these channels to die? They have a comfort level of what they're doing. And uh, a lot of the cases, they were never actually that big to begin with, but YouTube and uh, just the industry as a whole prop them up. A lot of the times with mm. people like Tyler Oakley or Tobuscus, they lived in LA, they networked with people, they had their own agent, uh, they collabed with other YouTubers. YouTube put them on the front page all the time and uh, it inflated their numbers. With somebody like Tobuscus hmm. and uh, other people in his case, it happens a lot, is they, uh, they reach a level of success making millions of dollars a year off YouTube and that's mm. no longer good enough for them. And then they go off to Hollywood. But the thing with Hollywood that P YouTubers aren't aware of is on YouTube, if I have an idea for a video, I make it and it's out within two weeks. Uh, in Hollywood, you get 10 projects and maybe only two of those will actually pan out. Then after Hollywood ate them and spat them back out, they come back to YouTube and then they try making the old content that they were successful with three years ago but then they find out no one's interested in, it, in them anymore, but they have no choice. They have, this is the only thing they know. They can't make money. They can't go back to Hollywood because Hollywood's not hiring them anymore. They're not hot. And uh, they, they, have these, they have no choice but to run them into the ground because that's the only opportunity they have. It's kind of comforting to know that Tabusk is fucked up in there because when I watched his most recent videos, the, the thing that freaked me out the most was like watching his content it wasn't that bad. Some of it was, was interesting and he was funny. And it was like, oh no, this is six out of 10, sometimes even seven out of 10 content. And he's struggling to break these numbers and he's got that many subscribers. 
So, all right, well, uh, thanks very much, uh, the game from us, for, for coming along. No problem. <laughs> we can find links to your channel on uh, Quinton Reviews and on, um, what was it, Turkey Jack or something? <laughs> yeah, if you click on the link on the on the screen right now, you could go to the new top 10 4chan pranks that stars the internet historian. It has, um, it has Gamer from Mars and, and also I am in it, and, um, and we're both in it, and it's the two of us.